guys, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag with me, Brad M73. How are you doing? We are heading to Charleston, Charlestown for, I think, a siege or something like that. Some cargo. Oh, okay. All right, so we got to head up this way. So, um, yeah, new, new this episode, um, I finally had, I finally went ahead, I had to get a new headset, uh, got a Logitech G35, which is super awesome, I mentioned that in the last video, so, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the freakish, uh, reality of my voice, and how realistic and better I'm, hopefully, sound, because <laughs> if I sound worse, that would really suck. Um, ooh, what's this? Why is there a little ship out here? It's the USS Spangler Monkey! The Siege of Charleston, or Charlestown. I wonder, if, I wonder if this is supposed to be Charleston, South Carolina. Yes, yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Aww. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir! A fair good morrow to you! Aww, that was nice. And something tells me that that guy's going to end up dead and... Our boy is going to go El Berserko on some Templars, or maybe even some Assassins. I don't know. I just got a bad feeling about that. Hopefully not. Oh, what's this? Are you not oh, it... no. oh. Are you not wanted by your wives, <laughs> families, and countrymen? How else to explain it? Your government's complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for medicines. These were my only turn. Six days of pure fucking. <gasps> Blackbeard said a wordy dirt. I'm telling. So I must conclude. I'm telling, Mom. You men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for chum. <gasps> my Christ! This is my predicament. Kill you or to press you into my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> Charles can see this mess. It's the idea. Ooh, out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We don't have any. We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. A day? All right. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Tail the gunboat. Keep your distance from the gunboat to avoid detection. Yay, crafting available again. I don't know why crafting wasn't available before. That was bizarre. I don't know if there's anything can we make. 
What? What? It just said crafting was available, and now it says it's unavailable. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet. Someone out there has prepared Can we, uh... We should, like, just, just blow them away. Boom! But they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Alright, so let's find where they've gathered. Now, I don't... For the best. Might be going out on a limb here, but I, I honestly, I don't think that this gigantic ship would be able to make it through these uh, narrow straits. Not with the masts. No way. No way, no how, nowhere. We'd be like knocking into trees and getting stuck. There's two watchtowers. What are you talking about? Like, how would you not notice, like, from that distance? Oh my god, there's a gigantic ship going by in the swamp. It's I am at half sail. Careful with the banks. Cannot pass them undetected, Captain. Yeah, there yeah. There's no other way. There's always another stop. way. Stop! All stop! Okay, so now we gotta go and... Oh! Oh, come on. Just drop, drop down. Okay, I need to probably need some sleeping darts or something. <laughs> How would he totally not hear that? Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here, buddy. Don't you see that sword laying down there? He's like, uh, what was that? Knock him out. Nah, I guess you don't want to kill anybody. guys <laughs> boo okay we're not assassinating the <laughs> snore sabotage the bell sabotage come on sabotage Sabotage! And here comes our ship. <clears throat> what was that all about? Jump! That's beyond our way. I see them. Where's the map? I want to see. I guess that's as far out as I can zoom. Look at all these weird circles. It's like they dropped nuclear bombs there. Don't worry, it won't. Or will it? Yeah, there's no way we would be able to fit through here. I'm sorry, but I ain't buying it. 
sure they don't spy us trailing them. No, they definitely don't. With all these lanterns on our deck, nah, they don't spy us. Come on. Steady as she goes, Captain. Oh. Why am I going backwards? Use the stunts. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. Okay, there we go. Come on. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hi, sir. Sleep darts on crocodiles and skin a crocodile. All right. On, oh, there's one right there. Pew. Come on, E skin. Yes, skin a crocodile. Come on. Chuff. Come on, go go go. Oh, come on. Almost dead. No, 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 no. Space bar. Uh. Oh my god. What's going on here? Where? Man, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that scared the ever living poop out of me. Not, not literally, just figuratively, but still, poop is enough. This one. Oh, God. Come on, I just need to skin this one. Okay, can I? Oh. Come on, not again. All right, come on, E, skin him. We gotta book it. Are you kidding me? Behind. Nope. 
Quiet night, be sure. There's something in the water. Wait till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. Ah, uh, phew. Um, I think I need to... Can I craft some more, um... Sleeping darts? Please? No. Well, we better not screw up then, because otherwise we're going to be in deep doo-doo. Hello! Is that Raider yonder? A very faint. Then speed along. You're expected. And you know how... Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, Christ! He took him! He took him! I told you! Just throw! For God's sake, throw! I told you there was something, didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here! Okay. <sighs> that was stressful. So, I think I need to jump up here. And there's crocodiles everywhere. I apologize. There was an accident. Private Simon. It's this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town. And I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall oh, great. To the mansion! This won't pass long. Come on, go! What the hell is he doing? Come on! Go, go, go! Come on, I'm trying to go as fast as I can! Oh, come on! Ugh. Please don't make me do all of that again. This is like kind of a tough mission. Oh gosh, okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Can I get him? Don't even stop. Oh, okay. I can't. I don't think I can blow dart him. Just go straight. Wee! Oh god. Get up. I can. Oh gosh. Seriously, come on. What? <laughs> what the heck? Um. Okay. I couldn't get a clean shot on him. Stop him. Don't 
I can't shoot him. Ah. Uh. I don't think I can... Beer, boing, boing. What am I doing wrong? I, I did this before in like one go. Why am I not catching up with you? No, don't kill me. Oh, we're catching up. We're catching up. Come on. Oh, gosh, I'm in front of him. Come to me, buddy. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I'll just sit there and fight these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Are you kidding me? This this is like the what the fourth time? <sighs> maybe it, maybe I need dinner or something. <laughs> I swear, guys, I did the. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? No, nobody shoot me. I'm a nice guy. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to kill you. I'm gonna really super kill you. Oh, bloody heck. Don't shoot at me. Come on. Oh, okay. There we go. Like, hi guys! See you guys! There we go. Save me! And flay all you devils! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. Yeah. You should have bartered, mate. Yeah. Bartered. And stuff. He has returned, Captain! Ooh, he's like, everybody's wet. <laughs> What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. That's right, thinking precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? <laughs> you should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. Now you go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. 
On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this Earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep Ooh. than call myself a captain another year. Wheel me again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. Down by JV Jones's locker? Yay, so we skinned a crocodile and we slept. The, the, okay. That one was kind of frustrating. I'm going to give feedback. Rate this memory. This one kind of sucked, but, you know, wasn't that great. All right, continue. <laughs> I don't usually rate the mem the memories. How would you rate this memory? Yeah, that was like a bad dream. You need to incapacitate ships before you can board them. Yeah, I know. Do you have a minute? Oh no. Oh no. Talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Okay, Melanie, I'll be right there. <laughs> um, can we hack into anybody else's computers? Ooh. Um. Not sure if you guys had been. Uh, whoa, hello. Had been uh, paying attention to my. Oh, there we go. Uh, we've been. Uh, Kind of hacking into some of these computers. I can't remember. Well, I guess we are at this point. Yeah, we'd have to be at this point. Okay. Core breached. Assessing information. Oliver, here's the initial presentation I received. It's a little light on facts, but these guys know what they're doing. We'll know more when they arrive on Monday. Let me know if you feel like attending. Thanks, John. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, especially in telephony to home computing to digital management project. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. flagship products, CTOS, groundbreaking proprietary security software, and offering system. Okay, so basically, um, features in Bloom. Okay, so apparently we are crafting the observatory here, essentially. Okay, anybody else's? Can I get into here? No. Um. Wait, which is the one I just hacked? Is it this one? Oh yeah, it was that one. Alright. And then this one is mine. Abstergo Entertainment. That'd be cool to have that kind of a window in... Uh... <gasps> nope. He's on his Animus. Wait, do I have exit? No, I don't. Okay. Alright, so who am I supposed to go see? Okay, follow the little arrow. Over here. Hi! Hey, he's waiting for us. Yeah, let's go. Okay, where are we going? Oh. Going up to the stairs, huh? I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's you did? Amazing. Oh, Black you're Bird welcome. Mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. That's a special idea. All right, come on. We cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and... Sorry, his ship, not boat. But jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes, and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're going to have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. Ooh, yeah. It's like the shiver in your timber. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, now she's all, like, straight face. <laughs> Resting bitch face. That's what everybody's saying these days. Okay, all right. Why is the frame rate so blah? Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... Hi, Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the 
Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. The Kenway? You mean Sorry my project? This. I'll call you when we're ready. Okay. Should be long. All right, okay. I'll just I'll just go down here and pinch a loaf, you know. Hello. 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 Do you have a second? Of course you do. Yeah. The waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Well, I guess I'll just have to go down here to the security center and, you know. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. Bling. Now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. Hack the... Hack something. Oh. Okay, so now we're... Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Oh, pfft. Well, that was easy. Cool. I almost, like, kind of half... Crap. <laughs> I swear I've never done that before. And if we want information on assassins or Templars or the observatory or whatever the fuck else interests <gasps> Olivier, you will deliver it. Full stop. Uh -huh. I understand that, Leticia. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Mm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. <laughs> you. It means me. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Yeah. It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Uh oh, I better get it back out of here. Assassins, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about the shareholders meeting, though. Hey, I can't get out. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. The window? Oh, hey. There's one of these little things. Sticky notes, yeah, we got some sticky notes. What window? What window? Where? They're gonna, they're, they're gonna know. Like, what am I gonna do? Come up? They're, they're like, hey, where's uh, whoever, whatever my name is, not Edward. Oh great. into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did you know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, and it's not possible. <gasps> All right. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your oh, options. can we do that? Is that an option? That would be cool if it was. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. Snap, snap. Snap, snappy. Okay. Is this another Frogger? Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of like Frogger. Oh, gosh. Don't hit the red part. That's basically... Oh, what the heck is this? Ooh, that was interesting. Alright, I don't think it matters which one of the ones on the other side you go into. 
Extraction successful. Bypassing standard security protocols. Connection successful. Alrighty then. Okay, Melanie LeMay. Salute. Most of you know I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the 17th, and they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible, and we anticipate even more amazing finds in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will have to be one of the most eye-popping explorations piracy ever seen. It would take us quite a bit of work to scrub the data of objectionable and classified material, but we already have some incredible promising footage. So basically we're playing the game that they're already scrubbed of all the quote-unquote top secret classified material, right? Um, at the same time, Ex Absterio Entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for our new quote, customer cloud interface app. <laughs> Sexy name forthcoming. Edward Kenway's virtual pirate experience will be the first complete product on offer and the first of its kind anywhere, an immersive, interactive pirate experience drawn from actual historical data. Internal tests of our consumer cloud app have been encouraging, and we anticipate it will be ready in time for the next holiday season, if everything goes according to plan. So this leads us to a broader question. What other experiences would we like to offer? What other historical periods and locations can we explore? Judge, judging by our current rate of data retrieval, our capacity to produce, and our understanding of consumption trends, executives at Abstergo, Abstergo Industries have given me the goal of producing one of the one complete virtual experience per annum. In addition to smaller offerings, as our search allows. This includes books, recordings, films, and other transmedia offerings. A second related question is this. Does Sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it? Or should we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archived data? Remember that data from Sample 1 proved fruitful enough to create our liberation project. It is very likely that research into samples 2 through 16 would bear surprising fruits as well. Thoughts? Oh gosh, man, this is like... So we should limit ourselves, okay. Even I had a great grandfather who fought in the American Civil War, managed to meet the President Lincoln a few times, okay. Um, all right, so they're talking about, let's see, I believe for this message, Jean de, de Arc, so there's a nice leak right there. Oh, Joan of Arc, ooh, that might be interesting. Um, I heard they weren't gonna do World War II, though that might be interesting. Uh, Egypt would be pretty cool. A word of caution, though, Sample 2 comes from the late Dr. Warren Vidic himself, collected at some point in the early 80s when he was an engineer working at Abstergo. Okay. So this is kind of talking about some of the backstory and how the samples work, I guess. Um, uh, if, I guess if you guys want to watch, you know, read all this, um, you, could, you could pause the video game or the video screen as I scroll through this. Um, but I don't think I'm so basically it's basically just about let's see stick to the shit that let's see okay unless oil room is stick to shit that sells yeah conflict yeah do, 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 business not a group therapy session Evan let's take this offline take it offline all right uh, security system oh we already got that you sneaky bastard a pirate through and through ain't you now get down to the lobby there's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now wait. The receptionist. Hold on. Can I just... Something. Why can't I just go down the... Ugh. What the heck is she doing? As okay. gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Okay. So who's this guy that's like hacking into my earpiece and telling me what to do? That's what I want to know. I want to know. Uh, 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 we owe. 
like the allonger? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. All right, there oh, you hey, go. Hey, it's our yeah. old friend. Hey there, I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, you said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the <laughs> Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. There. Return to your animus. You well done, really friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. You better. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Beam. Sample 17, floor 2, yes. Alright, so is there anybody... Oh, we have... We actually have uh, level 2 clearance now, so I think we should be able to go in here. Which doesn't... Look... Oh, there's a computer over. Yeah. We can hacksaw into these computers. Frogger. There we go. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, come on. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh. Bleep. Oh, my gosh. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh. Seriously. Man, I feel like an idiot. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. Okay, and boop, 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 boop. I'm just going down the center one because, uh, you know, I just feel like it. All right, bypassing standard security protocols. Connection successful. And there's some pictures, yay. Oh, look, it's him driving down the road. <gasps> oh, there's the guy from all the other Assassin's Creed. Oh, Canon Nasa. I can't remember that. Oh, feet in the sand. Oh, it's that chick. Oh, it's the guy from all the other Assassin's Oh, look, it's like them before they go. Okay, who's the fifth person that took this picture? Because I'm pretty sure I don't remember them taking the picture. Oh, a little kitten. Oh, okay. Well, that was nice. Everybody likes the kitten. All right, let's get our hacksawing skills on again. Come on. Come on, here we go. There we go. Oh, one try. That was one try, wasn't it? <laughs> Bypassing standard security protocols. Connection successful. Okay, uh, hope this is on. I don't think I've ever used this phone more than a few times to record anything. Uh, hey, Dad. So, uh, we're all here in New York at the motel. It's, uh, Queens, actually. Astoria, near the NQ. Yeah, we don't care. Get to the end. Getting batteries for something. Uh, I guess we can't. Um, yeah, boring. It's it's just talking, kind of telling a little bit more about some of the. No, I don't want to go there. Wait, does it show all the computers that I can hack or? Computer. Okay, there's three more on the other side. All right, cool. And there's one of these. Yay! We're getting a lot of the sticky notes. Admit. To, whoops. Which one was this? Number three? No. Oh. No! Seg. Mobile seg. What? Vacation home. So. Being a uh, home car. No. It's more of those we submit messages. We submit. Uh, 
All right, more football hacking. Oh gosh, it's, we're not off to a terrible start already. Oh my gosh, did I just did I seriously do that? Oh my gosh. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah. All right, so that wasn't too terrible. Terra bad. Oh, come on. Yes, I know access is granted. Connection successful. Rawr. Elia Ghost Lights. Oh, so we got more. Ooh, look at those. So there's, um, talking about some ghost lights. If you guys want to read that, there's that. You can take a time to pause the video. Uh, if not, we can talk about Das Bermuda Triangle. Um, which I don't know what the heck all that is because pretty sure all that is not attached to that kind of a plane. Um, Devil's Triangle's been the um, the Aztec ruins with giant computer core underneath it. What <laughs> chicken? Oh, Chichen it's Gus. There's all the information about that if you want to read it. Uh, Easter Island. Antarctica, which is Lake Vostok. All right. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go through a lot of this and read a lot of it um, kind of offline because I don't think you guys are, you know, too interested in going through a lot of this stuff in intense detail. Um, however, I am going to check to see if I can. Can I? I can't jump, can I? Oh, there we go. So we can hack this computer. Ooh, what's this one? Wait, do we have to get... Oh, this one's like playing golf, right? <gasps> Ooh, oh, oh. Yay! It's like a wormhole. It's like a computer worm instead of a virus. It's a worm, but it's a wormhole. <gasps> Core oak. Oh, I, th I thought that said cornbread at first. I'm like, what? Antikytheria. Antikythera mechanism? What? Oh, here's the old batteries. Actually, the Mythbusters did a... Uh, yeah, the Baghdad battery. I think they did a, uh, a thing about that. I think that's the one where they shocked the hell out of Adam <laughs> with the fake Ark of the Covenant. The functioning precursor time crystal has not been located. Blood vials. Oh, no, da, da, da. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, crystal skulls. Oh, don't even, don't even tell me that like there's an Indiana Jones link to this. That movie sucked, by the way. Don't watch it. It will destroy everything you knew about Indiana Jones. Memory seals. Cool. And what's this? The Voynichi Voynichi manuscript. All right. So hopefully. You guys can pause if you guys want to watch any of that stuff. All right, so I think we still have a couple, a couple more computers. Security room. Can I get in? Ah, excuse me. Can I get into the security room? Where was it? Okay, it's this way. Yes, I can. So we are just haxoring everybody. We are elite haxors. All right. Think. Okay, I think 
that's going to do pretty well. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So this is going to be... Trying to see where, so let's we'll go there, down like this. All right, so this is going to be, let's see, one, two, so it should be whichever one intersects up there, if, if there is one. Oh, I guess there's not. Okay. Oh, that's pretty darn close there. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that was a little bit. Let's see, 2372. Minutes after loading it up, security was at my desk. Is that what happened? I saw them asking you a question. SW changed. They confiscated my animal. It's under review. Are you kidding? That's. That's scary. <laughs> That's scary, you guys. Can I? I can't move around. All right. <gasps> There's that guy walking. Is he gonna walk? There's security guys. Can kinda hear something here. They checked mine three times between the parking garage and my desk. Could say this was illegal. Okay. Um well that's kinda boring. But we can come back there, I guess, and re hacks or that. Um and I think we hacked everything in there. Now we can hack these computers, which I think there are hmm. Like how would they not see me walking around hacking all these computers, right? I, you know, you just have to have an intuition about this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's not tough, though. Yes, I want to access all the information. Our researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. Ooh. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Altair, no, this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. Ooh. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. <laughs> Wait, that's, th that's who they did Assassin's Creed 1 on, okay. Well, so much for Altair. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, another one of these. We're just, like, picking up all the clues. Machines we made, blah, blah, blah. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, once we get all of them, we're gonna go and read them in order. Alright. Ooh, now we got two black holes. This one might be a little more interesting. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, there we go, and there we are. Easy beasy Jeff. Well, easy beasy. Initiating. All right. Wonder if we get another cool video. Oh, look! It looks like uh, Evangeline Lily kind of. Uh, overlook leaders. All right, so. She was a master Templar in the Southern Colonies. All right. That's all that is. Great Minds. Okay. And I think we have one more computer we need to hacks or... No, two more. Okay. Have like two we can hack. Um, there we go. Wonder if it matters which one you hack. Yes, we understand all the stuff. Phase one reports. Oh, this is when they captured uh, Desmond Desmond Miles. He was uh, Subject 17. Have you seen this man? Desmond Miles, yes. Yes, Abstergo owns him. Whoops. Um, I have one more computer. Yay! Man, this episode's getting long with like all the hacks or ring we're doing. Um, okay. Where is everybody in this office? Last hack, guys, I promise. Hopefully, we won't be hacking any for a while. This is a new kind of... Uh, let's see here. Oh. No. Oh, there we go. That one was kind of neat. Access granted. How many ancestors do you have? How many secrets? Probably a lot of ancestors. Welcome to the fascinating world of genetic memory retrieval. Um, this actually kind of explains how the Animus works and what, you know, what they're doing here at Abstergo. They're using like these DNA in order to get, uh, extract memories. Because apparently, according to this game, uh, memories, uh, or your DNA, contain, you know, all your DNA contain all the memory of all your past ancestors. All right, so we will go and jump back in our uh, other animus, well, our animus, and, uh, and I'll see you guys back next time for another episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I know the second half of this episode was kind of boring, but um, hopefully... Uh, you're, you stuck around, and uh, we'll see you back for more. Uh, I'm Brad M73. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.